At a time when police are under fire for their use of force, Border Patrol released its own investigation of agents involved in shootings. And according to the internal review first reported by the Tribune Washington Bureau, 64 of 67 agents were cleared of criminal misconduct. As Nine on Your Side's Justin Shecker reports, a deadly cross-border shooting in Nogales is one of the three unresolved cases. The night of October 10th, 2012 in Nogales, Border Patrol agent Lonnie Schwartz fired 15 times through the fence on International Street into Mexico. Border Patrol says the shooting was in response to rock throwing. Eight bullets struck 16-year-old Jose Antonio Elena Rodriguez in the back, according to his autopsy. Yo pido justicia. Yo quiero justicia. I want justice, his grandmother told Nine on Your Side. The Justice Department continues to investigate Schwartz and two other agents involved in deadly shootings. After independent law enforcement experts criticized Border Patrol for a lack of diligence, Customs and Border Protection commissioned its own review of Border Patrol shootings. As first reported by the Tribune Washington Bureau, Nine on Your Side has learned, CBP cleared 64 of 67 agents of misconduct. This report comes as the president and federal government try to crack down on the use of excessive force by local police departments nationwide. Disappointed by the results, the head of the Border Action Network, Juanita Molina, said, when you have someone throwing rocks and someone responding with lethal force, it is just not proportional. Rodriguez's family has filed a wrongful death lawsuit in federal court. Agent Schwartz wants the suit dropped. His attorney's argument is the Mexican teen was not protected by the U.S. Constitution. We're still waiting for the federal government to release the video of the alleged rock throwing used to justify the deadly shooting. Live in the newsroom, I'm Justin Shecker, KGUN 9 on your side.